Thanks. Thanks. Time for sports with Team 12's Luke Lydon. And Luke, uh, with Book out of the lineup, who do you think has to step up tonight? I mean, obviously, uh, Cam Johnson will probably start in his place. I think everyone, if that's a fair answer, I think uh, it goes from DeAndre. It kind of covers all the bases. It really, it really does. Now, I'm not going to say the Suns' back is against the wall tonight, per se, but I think there might be a little more pressure than we thought there would be for Game 3. I think that's fair to say. Time now to bring in our own Team 12's Lena Washington to give us a dose of optimism as the team gears up for Game 3. Hey, Lena. Hey Luke, yeah, this team has found a way to win 64 games in the regular season without several key players throughout. And as you take a look behind me, you've got some of them. Some of the auxiliary players like JaVale McGee campaign was just out here. Mikhail Bridges was just out here warming up. But this team needs to hone in on its defense tonight, especially in the third quarter. If the Suns want to take a 2-1 series lead tonight, the Suns allowed 34 points in the third quarter of game one and 37 in game two. Head coach Monty Williams needs his guys to come out with more energy after halftime. Yeah, they, they come out with a great deal of energy. One, um, they forced the issue and gotten a ton of transition points. And that's something that we identified today was the transition. Um, and then we've, you know, it's not an excuse, but we've had some, some mishaps on defense that have allowed for them to have some uncontested corner threes uh, that we haven't done that this year, giving up uh, slot threes and corner threes that were uncontested. And, and so those are things that every NBA team tries to take away. We've got to do a much better job in that environment. And speaking of environment, it's going to be a sellout crowd for tonight's Game 3 and Game 4. It's going to be rocking here at Smoothie King Center. But this might be the biggest test yet for the best road team in the regular season. Luke? Yes, it definitely will be, Lena. And I'm curious, uh, it's no secret rebounding has been an issue for the Suns this series. They're currently losing the battle on the glass by 15 boards in those first two games. What has been the message from Coach for Game 3 to hopefully fix that? Well, I mean, it's protect the glass, right? They've got to get some big bodies down in the paint. DeAndre Ayton, JaVale McGee have to be more aggressive to pull down those boards. And again, it's all about shutting down those second chance points for the Pelicans as they look to take a 2-1 series lead in front of their home crowd against the top seed in the NBA playoffs. And quickly before we let you go, you mentioned it's going to be a sellout crowd tonight and for game four. You've been around the Pelicans fans all week long. What has that feel been from them? Do they have a little extra confidence now that this series is tied up? Well, I got to say, everyone we've encountered here in New Orleans has been very sweet, but they are not shy about letting us know I'm wearing the wrong color and they are not rooting for Monty Williams. Even though he used to coach the Hornets here, they're rooting for Willie Green, his protege, so to speak, here. And they've got these one NOLA shirts on all of the seats here. They've got signs that say this is a basketball town. So you already know now that it's April, playoffs are here. They're turning the attention to the Pelicans in this big first round series. All right, Alina, we appreciate the time and I'm loving the color there. The orange is the way to go.